Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Loaded nachos, crispy tortilla chips piled high with melted cheese, jalapenos, guacamole, and salsa, perfect for sharing. Loaded nachos. Ingredients. For the nachos. Tortilla chips, 8 to 10 ounces. 1 cup shredded cheese, cheddar or Monterey Jack. 1 cup cooked ground beef or shredded chicken, optional. Half a cup black beans, drained and rinsed. Half a cup diced tomatoes, fresh or canned. A quarter cup sliced jalapenos, pickled or fresh. A quarter cup chopped green onions. A quarter cup sour cream, for serving. Guacamole, for serving. Salsa, for serving. A quarter cup chopped cilantro, optional. Preparation steps. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Layer the nachos. On a large baking sheet, spread out a layer of tortilla chips. Sprinkle half of the shredded cheese over the chips. If using, add the cooked ground beef or shredded chicken on top. Add the black beans, diced tomatoes, jalapenos, and the remaining cheese. Bake. Place the baking sheet in the preheated oven and bake for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. Garnish. Remove from the oven and sprinkle with chopped green onions and cilantro, if using. Serve. Serve hot with sides of sour cream, guacamole, and salsa for dipping. Enjoy your loaded nachos. They make a great snack for parties or movie nights. Wood-fired pizza, thin crust pizzas cooked in a traditional wood-fired oven, topped with fresh ingredients and melted cheese. Wood-fired pizza that you can make at home. Ingredients For the pizza dough 2 cups all-purpose flour, plus extra for dusting 1 teaspoon salt 1 teaspoon sugar 1 teaspoon active dry yeast 3 quarters cup warm water, about 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius 1 tablespoon olive oil For the pizza toppings Half a cup pizza sauce, store-bought or homemade one and a half cup shredded mozzarella cheese. Toppings of your choice, pepperoni, bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, olives, fresh basil, etc. Olive oil, for drizzling. Fresh herbs, like basil or oregano for garnish. Preparation steps. Make the dough. In a small bowl, dissolve the sugar and yeast in warm water. Let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes until frothy. In a large bowl, combine the flour and salt. Create a well in the center and add the yeast mixture and olive oil. Mix until a dough forms, then knead on a floured surface for about 5 to 7 minutes until smooth. Place the dough in a lightly oiled bowl, cover it with a damp cloth, and let it rise in a warm place for about 1 hour or until doubled in size. Preheat the oven. If using a wood-fired oven, Preheat it to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius. For a conventional oven, preheat to the highest setting, usually around 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius, and place a pizza stone inside if you have one. Prepare the pizza. Once the dough has risen, punch it down and divide it into two to four portions, depending on how large you want your pizzas. Roll out one portion of dough on a floured surface, to your desired thickness. Transfer the rolled out dough to a pizza peel or a floured baking sheet. Add toppings. Spread a layer of pizza sauce over the dough, leaving a small border for the crust. Sprinkle mozzarella cheese evenly over the sauce. Add your favorite toppings, then drizzle a little olive oil on top. Bake the pizza. Carefully slide the pizza into the wood-fired oven or place it on the preheated pizza stone in your conventional oven. Bake for about 5 to 10 minutes in the wood-fired oven or 10 to 15 minutes in a conventional oven until the crust is golden and the cheese is bubbly. Serve. Remove the pizza from the oven and let it cool slightly. Garnish with fresh herbs and slice into wedges. 
Serve hot. Enjoy your delicious wood-fired pizza. Chicken wings, crispy wings tossed in a variety of sauces, from tangy buffalo to sweet barbecue, served with celery and dip. Chicken wings, perfect for parties or game days. Ingredients For the wings 2 pounds chicken wings 1 tablespoon olive oil Salt and pepper, to taste For the sauce Half a cup hot sauce, like Frank's Red Hot. A quarter cup melted butter. One tablespoon honey, optional, for sweetness. One teaspoon garlic powder. One teaspoon onion powder. One teaspoon smoked paprika, optional. For serving. Celery sticks. Carrot sticks. Blue cheese or ranch dressing, for dipping. Preparation steps. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 degrees Celsius. Line a baking sheet with aluminum foil and place a wire rack on top. Prepare the wings. Rinse the chicken wings and pat them dry with paper towels. This helps to make them crispy. In a large bowl, toss the wings with olive oil, salt, and pepper until evenly coated. Bake the wings. Arrange the wings in a single layer on the wire rack. Bake for about 40 to 45 minutes, flipping halfway through, until the wings are golden brown and crispy. Make the sauce. In a small saucepan over low heat, combine the hot sauce, melted butter, honey, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. Stir until well mixed and heated through. Toss the wings. Once the wings are done baking, Remove them from the oven and place them in a large bowl. Pour the sauce over the wings and toss until they are fully coated. Serve. Transfer the sauced wings to a serving platter. Serve with celery and carrot sticks, along with blue cheese or ranch dressing for dipping. Enjoy your crispy and flavorful chicken wings. Kebabs, skewered and grilled meats, served in pita or on their own, often garnished with fresh vegetables and sauces. Kebabs, perfect for grilling or broiling. Ingredients For the kebabs 1 pound, for 50 g, meat, lamb, beef, chicken, or shrimp, cut into bite-sized pieces. A quarter cup olive oil. 2 tablespoons lemon juice. 3 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground paprika. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon black pepper. 1 teaspoon dried oregano, optional. Vegetables for skewering, bell peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes, zucchini, etc. Preparation steps. Marinate the meat. In a large bowl, mix the olive oil, lemon juice, minced garlic, cumin, paprika, coriander, salt, black pepper, and oregano. Add the meat to the marinade and toss to coat well. Cover and refrigerate for at least one hour, or up to overnight, for best flavor. Prepare the skewers. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes to prevent burning. If using metal skewers, they can be used directly. Assemble the kebabs. Thread the marinated meat onto the skewers, alternating with pieces of vegetables. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. If using an oven, preheat the broiler. Grill the kebabs. Place the skewers on the grill and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, turning occasionally, until the meat is cooked through and has nice grill marks. For broiling, place the skewers on a baking sheet and broil for about 8 to 10 minutes, turning halfway through. Serve. Remove the kebabs from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve hot with pita bread, rice, or a fresh salad, and your favorite dipping sauce, like tzatziki or garlic sauce. Enjoy your delicious kebabs. Artisan sausages, gourmet sausages grilled to perfection and served in a bun with a selection of toppings and sauces. Artisan sausages at home. Ingredients. For the sausage mix. 2 pounds ground meat, pork, beef, chicken, or a blend. Half a cup crushed ice, or very cold water. 
1 tablespoon salt 1 teaspoon black pepper 1 teaspoon garlic powder 1 teaspoon onion powder 1 teaspoon paprika, smoked or sweet, based on preference 1 teaspoon dried herbs, such as thyme, oregano, or rosemary 1 quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes, optional, for heat 1 tablespoon fresh herbs, like parsley or basil, chopped, optional For stuffing, optional Natural hog casings, if making links, soak in water for 30 minutes before use Preparation Steps Prepare the meat. In a large bowl, combine the ground meat with crushed ice, or cold water, salt, and all spices. Mix well with your hands until the mixture is sticky and well combined. Test the seasoning. To test the seasoning, cook a small patty of the sausage mixture in a pan. Adjust seasonings as needed. Stuff the sausages, optional. If making links, fit a sausage stuffer with soaked hog casings. Slide the casing onto the stuffer and tie a knot at the end. Fill the casing with the sausage mixture, being careful not to overfill. Twist sausages into links, about 6 to 8 inches long, and tie off the ends. Chill. Place the sausages, whether stuffed or patties, on a baking sheet and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. This helps them hold their shape when cooking. Cook the sausages. You can grill, pan fry, or bake the sausages. Grilling, preheat the grill to medium heat and cook sausages for about 10 to 15 minutes, turning occasionally, until fully cooked, internal temperature should reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. Pan frying, heat a bit of oil in a skillet over medium heat and cook for about 10 to 12 minutes, turning frequently. Baking, Preheat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit 190 degrees Celsius and bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. Serve. Let the sausages rest for a few minutes after cooking. Serve hot with your favorite sides, such as sauerkraut, mustard, or fresh bread. Enjoy your homemade artisan sausages. Smoothie bowls, refreshing smoothie bases topped with fruits, nuts, and seeds, ideal for a healthy snack. Smoothie bowls, perfect for a nutritious breakfast or snack. Ingredients For the smoothie base 1 frozen banana 1 cup frozen mixed berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries Half a cup Greek yogurt, or non-dairy yogurt Half a cup milk, dairy or non-dairy, like almond or oat milk 1 tablespoon honey or maple syrup, optional, for sweetness for toppings Fresh fruits, sliced bananas, berries, kiwi, mango Granola Chia seeds or flax seeds Nut butter, like almond or peanut butter Coconut flakes Nuts and seeds, like almonds, walnuts, or pumpkin seeds Preparation steps Make the smoothie base in a blender, combine the frozen banana, frozen mixed berries, Greek yogurt, milk, and honey or maple syrup, if using. Blend until smooth and creamy. If the mixture is too thick, add a bit more milk until you reach your desired consistency. Serve. Pour the smoothie into a bowl. Add toppings. Arrange your favorite toppings on top of the smoothie base. Be creative. You can create patterns or simply pile them on. Enjoy. Grab a spoon and dig in. Feel free to customize the smoothie bowl with your favorite flavors and toppings. Enjoy your nutritious and colorful creation. Chocolate-covered treats, various snacks like fruit or pretzels dipped in rich chocolate for a sweet finish. Chocolate-covered treats that you can customize with your favorite snacks. Ingredients For the chocolate coating 1 cup dark or milk chocolate chips 1 tablespoon coconut oil, optional, for a smoother coating For the treats 1 cup pretzels, mini or regular 1 cup strawberries, fresh, washed, and dried 1 cup marshmallows, mini or regular 1 cup nuts, almonds, peanuts, or any favorite 1 cup fruit, like banana slices or apple wedges Preparation Steps Prepare the chocolate. 
In a microwave-safe bowl, combine the chocolate chips and coconut oil, if using. Microwave in 30-second intervals, stirring in between, until the chocolate is melted and smooth. Dip the treats. For pretzels, dip each pretzel into the melted chocolate, using a fork to lift it out. Allow excess chocolate to drip off and place on a parchment-lined baking sheet. For strawberries, hold the green stem and dip each strawberry into the chocolate, allowing excess to drip off. Place on the baking sheet. For marshmallows, insert a toothpick into each marshmallow, dip into the chocolate, and place on the baking sheet. For nuts, dip whole nuts in chocolate and place on the baking sheet. For fruit, dip slices of banana or apple in chocolate and place on the baking sheet. Chill. Place the baking sheet in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or until the chocolate is set. Serve. Once set, remove from the refrigerator and serve on a platter. Enjoy your delicious chocolate-covered treats. Tips. You can sprinkle toppings like crushed nuts, sea salt, or sprinkles on the treats before the chocolate sets for extra flair. Feel free to mix and match your favorite snacks.